Hi, Internet and Casey. This is Melly with 25 and 52. I am recording on an actual Thursday and actually cooking dinner rather than eating out or like trying to throw together leftovers in less than five minutes. Um, so that's new and exciting, relatively. I have started hearing back from schools. One wants to interview me, hooray, and I told you about that. Um, but the interview is scheduled now, and that's in February, and I'm real excited for it. Also real nervous for it, but you know, whatever. Um, another one emailed me and said, hey, by the way, we have this prerequisite uh, for an undergrad statistics class. And I'm like, oh, I didn't see that anywhere and also did not take one of those. Um, so luckily, they're, they said they'll uh, review my application, both for that program and for another one that doesn't requ uh, require it at that school. Um, but my acceptance would be conditional on taking that before enrolling. Um, and so I figure, worst comes to worst, I will uh, take one, which, you know, might be a good idea to do anyway, take an online course over the summer or something like that. I don't know. I've been real tired a lot, um, and I think I screwed up my shoulder driving to Marathon, which, like, it's the most sedentary way you could mess up a joint. I'm, like, seriously impressed with myself. <laughs> but... It's been like hurting on and off since then, and that was last Friday, and now it's Thursday, so I've been trying to figure out like the right kind of doctor to see whether I should be seeing like, because I don't know if I even need to see it like a doctor doctor or just a referral to a good physical therapist who has experience with this kind of thing. Um, I guess I could have an appointment with my regular doctor to get a referral to the right kind of specialist. <sighs> So this is why I haven't done any of that yet, basically. <laughs> Tomorrow is Friday, and that's really exciting to me. And over this weekend, it will be Pat's birthday. So make sure you send him a happy birthday. And um, we're going out for super fun, fancy drink adventures with him and a couple other friends of ours uh, for actually a separate friend's birthday. But whatever. Um, that'll be exciting. And I'm also getting a haircut. And so this is going to get all refreshed and stuff. I think it'll definitely keep looking like that. That was, that's, that's a great look on me. Yeah. So yeah, that's, um, that's what's going on around here. I'm still sort of readjusting, um, to, uh, being back since last weekend. I was, you know, out of town the whole time, obviously. And so things have been moving a little slowly and like cranking into gear bit by bit by bit. Um, I read a lot of really neat articles and really informative, some of them, and really depressing some of them. Uh, so I'm going to probably not talk about any of those. I remember something cool I read about that isn't depressing. Uh, so someone did a study, some scientist uh, <laughs> did a study uh, looking at rates of stomach cancer around the world and... Uh, they found a interesting correlation where, like, because some populations, it's not really correlated with diet either, as far as I know, uh, have much higher rates of stomach cancer than other people, and uh, apparently it's tied to where the, um, the bacterium that causes ulcers a lot of the time apparently also has a role in stomach cancer. Um, so if your heritage and the heritage of the bacteria in your stomach are mismatched, there's a much stronger chance that you will have stomach cancer. It explicitly sort of frames it as saying colonialism is at fault for a decent part of this problem um, because the two populations that the study compared were a coastal population that um, where the bacteria in their stomachs were mostly from Africa and the people were mostly a while ago, uh, generations ago from Africa because they were uh, freed or escaped slaves living there. Um, and further inland, it was a... Uh, the heritage was a blend between European and um, indigenous people from the from the region, and uh, most of the bacteria were European, and that population had a lot more stomach cancer, and so that's what they were comparing there. But yeah, so I think that's it's a cool example. Both like it's a cool example of combining bacteria with a supposedly non infection related condition or at least I don't think about stomach cancer as an infection related condition uh, with a sort of wider social view also because clearly that's also a part of how we became who we are. Um, 
So I'm going to wrap this up. Loves you. I can do this with two hands because I actually have my tripod and I'm remembered to use it. And uh, I will see you on the internet soon. Bye. And colonialism, co 